The tale of Harry Potter, the boy who lived, is one known all over the world. And the icon of the stories is without doubt the young wizard's famous scar on his forehead, which at least looks like a lightning bolt. But the story for how author J.K. Rowling came up with the idea for Harry Potter's scar in the first place is actually rather surprising. You'll likely know that a number of iconic places around the UK served as inspiration for Rowling as she was writing the first novel, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Famously, she spent many an hour in the Elephant House Cafe in Edinburgh, penning the story as she gazed out of the window towards the mighty and mysterious Edinburgh Castle, just one example of a wealth of Scottish iconography to be found in the Harry Potter series. The movies, adapted from Rowling's novels, play into this nicely, with the iconic Glenfinnan Viaduct just outside Fort William featuring prominently in four of the films. Hogwarts, meanwhile, was heavily inspired by traditional British boarding schools, and in the movies, a number of locations in the north of England star as the school, the cloisters at Durham Cathedral, and the mighty Annick Castle in Northumberland, just to name a couple. York's iconic shambles, Platform 9 and 3 quarter at London King's Cross, and many more places around the country either feature directly in or are said to have served as inspiration for the stories. But it's the city of Oxford where the origin for Harry Potter's scar is said to have come from. Though J.K. Rowling didn't attend university in Oxford, her application was rejected in 1982, she did spend some time in the city. And while the historic university buildings and college system almost certainly formed part of the ethos behind Hogwarts, legend has it that it was this small crack on the pavement which gave birth to Harry Potter's iconic scar. Upon completing the initial draft of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1995, Rowling included a depiction of Harry Potter with a scar on his forehead. But editors of the book wanted a clearer idea of what the scar would look like. On a trip to Oxford shortly after, it's said that Rowling encountered this mark on the pavement at the foot of the university's historic Sheldonian theatre. And the rest, as they say, is history. But there's another question to be answered. Why exactly is there a lightning bolt carved into the ground in Oxford? Well, as magical as it may seem, the crack on the ground is simply thought to be the mark of a stone cutter, the man or company who cut the paving slabs used around the Sheldonian Theatre in the heart of the city's university. So that's the story of how Harry Potter's scar was inspired by a simple mark on the ground, one of the countless examples of captivating wizarding heritage to be found around the UK. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it an interesting watch.